I started working on Wolfram Alpha pretty much in the beginning of the project, already a couple years ago by now. And uh, I started working on plotting so that you only have to give a function and not like in mathematical from where to where that the code automatically figures out what is a nice range to plot it on. Uh, then worked on differential equations, number recognitions, and on units. Uh, I had actually before worked on the Wolfram function side, and there we made the first time basically a large website where all the mathematical information was fully computer understandable and readable. So in some sense, it's a logical continuation that we extend from just special functions of mathematical physics, like sinus, cosine, Bessel functions, to knowledge in general. And uh, in this sense, uh, it was very natural to work with this. I think Wolfram Alpha will be very useful for education because A, it does a lot of things so you can easily check your calculation, but not only this, for integrals and differentiation, you can also uh, watch the steps how to do it if you haven't understood the process itself. And you can do this basically with an unlimited number of functions, integrals, and uh, they can be pretty complicated, where by hand you would have quite some problem doing this. And for research, uh, because Wolfram Alpha is based on Mathematica and basically has the computational power of Mathematica behind. You can uh, solve real research level problems and not just toy problems for some first year undergraduate with it. It's pretty exciting to take part on something that has never been done before. I think there is a lot of knowledge in Wolfram Alpha. We went through literally thousands of books. Uh, we incorporated the knowledge from literally also thousands of articles from various databases and so on and so forth. But at the same time, one could argue that uh, there is more things still to be added to Wolfram Alpha than it's already in, because the long-term goal is basically everything that can be in some way mechanically accessed or computationally done should be a part of Wolfram Alpha. I've been working on the Wolfram Alpha project for about two years now. Um, I joined it sort of out of college. Um, and initially, my role was sort of to create you know, the actual output that people see. And like various aspects of you know with music and internet stuff, and these days I've taken on sort of a more uh, behind the scenes role, building things that the other developers use to make their job easier. So using Mathematica for everything we do, you know, on Wolfram Alpha and within Wolfram Research in general, let's just do many things quickly. So for example, one of the things that's very important for the project, um, like Wolfram Alpha, is that we need to be able to understand, you know, what does a particular input like iron mean. And you know, there's many different interpretations. There's one we think of immediately of as the material, but there's also a company, and there's many different things. You know, sometimes people might want to actually know about the word iron. How frequently does it appear? And it's so one of the things we've been able to do very quickly is to look at you know other search engines and Wikipedia and other sites and simply see how popular the word is. And we can do this for many many words in you know less than a day with one developer simply because we are using you know, the capabilities of Mathematica with our text processing stuff, the ability to easily import web pages. Initially, we, you know, we spent a lot of time putting in just like the different units. So we have, you know, a very large compendium of units. And now we sort of keep building on what we have. And so there's more and more data and sort of functionality is getting added at a very increasing rate. And so that's been really sort of enjoyable to watch. And also Wolfram Research has been adding more and more resources to the Wolfram Alpha project over time. So that sort of makes one feel good. And also the general project is sort of, it's a long-term project. Well, I think the real fun part is how people will use it the wrong way to do what it is that they want. You know, we have, we have lots of, we're planning to release many, you know, APIs to access the data and our, our results. And you know, when we ship, we'll have many ways of sort of put using Wolfram Alpha result on your website or, you know, printing it, et cetera. And so I think it'll be very interesting to see sort of mashups people make and so, you know, has search engines have you know permeated into websites directly and they're sort of sp more specialized versions i think it'll be very interesting to see how people use wolfram alpha in you know ways we didn't intend although you know there's also many people who from our testing it appears that they try to use wolfram alpha as a search engine and so we try to build in some things that sort of help users or guide users so if they enter something very general like chemistry which is a very good perhaps search engine query it's not a good query for alpha because there's nothing to compute there what we do is you know, we take chemistry and we say, OK, we understood that we were referring to like a general topic, and here are some chemistry examples. So it sort of help guide the user into more specific things um, to actually try and compute. Well, I think it's been really exciting. I, I, I sort of enjoy, now that Wolfram Alpha has sort of been announced, you know, it's been secret for the last few years, uh, I enjoy telling people I work on it and sort of seeing the reactions to it. And everybody I've shown it to seems to think that it'll be, you know, it'll really have an effect on how they 
query for stuff and you know you use the internet and computers. So I think that that's been really exciting that I can actually say that, you know point to it and say that I had a role in that. Well, I started working on Wolfram Alpha back in the early days when the scale was somewhat smaller than what it is today. And at that time, uh, one of the first things that went into it was units and units handling. So I've been working, uh, among other things, but starting out on the unit system that is part of Wolfram Alpha that by now is extremely large, comprehensive, detailed, and we think is probably sort of the best collection of units and units conversions anywhere in the world. And then over time, as the project expanded, I started working on a few other things. Uh, because of my website, I just happened to have a nice collection of various uh, mathematical objects of various kinds. So I got involved in mathematical surfaces, graphs, polyhedra, uh, and from there branched out to a few other things, including one kind of fun part of the system, which is sort of interesting little factoids that we put in. So if somebody requests uh, something that's particularly interesting, like for some reason Monty Python quotes are particularly of interest, something to do with the uh, terminal velocity of an unladen swallow or something like that. So we have a set of tables where we go ahead and enter things like that together with appropriate linguistics. So that's one fun thing that I've been doing. And based on the sort of responses that we've been seeing from early users and on the reviews, uh, people actually hit those things quite often. So it's kind of fun when you get a happy user because they happened to come across their favorite Monty Python quote and it worked. I'm still very proud of my scientific and mathematical contributions. That's probably what I'm most proud of, but it's also kind of fun being able to play around a little bit and uh, improve the, uh, what the site is able to return and understand when it comes to these interesting little nooks and idiosyncratic crannies, because let's face it, this is a great website, but people are idiosyncratic, so we have to follow suit. I and everybody working on it have been working so hard for these last couple of years, and it's great to finally see it come to fruition so we can actually share it with people. It will be interesting to see actually what the future holds for it. There's certainly a lot of possibilities there. Like you can, just as when I started using Mathematica, I actually learned a lot about mathematics. I think if you start using Wolfram Alpha, you can discover a lot of things that you didn't know. So it can answer questions. It can tell you why is the sky blue. It can give you the results of various formulas that you may have for your physics homework. It can teach you things about units, for instance. So you can type in uh, your favorite US style feet, inches, and miles and get a result in these other weird things called meters and centimeters, which hopefully you've heard about, but you might not have. And so you can kind of learn that there are these other things out there that other people use. And perhaps you should be aware of what they are and, and might be useful to you someday. So those are just a few small examples, but there's a lot more like that buried under the hood.